Hello, hello and welcome to part one of my embellishments. Yeah, now I'll continue with my decorations. I don't start in any particular order. Here I would still like to have a belly band. I'll still have some leftovers. But I must decide what I want to use now. This paper is also from Romantic Letters, but it belongs to another paper set. You can see it now. This nice and pretty envelope is from the turquoise paper set from Romantic Letters and I bought it uh, online on Etsy. I have to decide which paper to use as embellishment for my right side here. I also need blue cardstock. I still have enough of a big block, 12 by 12 inch, but no leftovers. I use the pages that I cut quite well. Now I don't want to cut a 12 by 12 inch paper for a little embellishment. That's why I'm looking for something suitable now. I found the right paper in this pad. I only have one blue page left and I intend to make a pocket out of it and have already prepared the paper. I folded it and now um, I uh, cut off the corners a little bit so that I can make a pocket easily. Of course, I would also like to have a decoration and I use the paper from Romantic Letters that comes from the side with uh, many cords, uh, cords ribbons, um, etc. I still have few leftovers and this part I will now glue onto the blue pocket. But first of all, I want to distress it with a blue ink. I think it is a good idea to use uh, blue ink because um, you must not always use uh, vintage photo or ground espresso or something like that. You can also uh, stay tuned, uh, stay um, um, in this um, color combination. I used the junk journal glue from Funkelkram again. It is an online shop in Germany. It's very practical because it's very easy to apply with a brush and puts it on very quickly. Uh, the paper does not become wavy as quickly. Should it happen, it's no, um, yeah, no drama. After drying, you can uh, weigh the paper down with a book. Then it quickly becomes smooth again. I didn't think that my craft glue and also the guillotine cutter would prove to be so useful on my craft table. The Tonic Studios guillotine is a good size. It is a DNA 5 and fits nicely on the table. I like to use it to cut all the papers for my embellishments and uh, yeah, you have um, a good tool um, and you are very well prepared for your crafting and scrapbooking and all these things. I now glue my parts with my liquid glue. I have to be careful that the parts fit exactly into the book so that I can fold the right paper over without any problems. I don't want to destroy my handicraft work and so I have really to pay attention. Okay, now I have uh, another belly band and I want to glue it over my flap. Um, it wouldn't be a good idea to put it underneath because uh, you have when uh, double uh, you doubled your paper and <clears throat> that wouldn't be a good idea so you have two big pages. Again I have to cut my paper with my trimmer and now I have decided to put something um, at the very uh, bottom of my page. It 
Mm, perhaps it should be uh, something like a pocket or it is something like a pocket or a belly band. Um, if you <clears throat> want to close your uh, page, I mean the uh, flap on the right side, you can put a stripe over it and put the stripe, um, yeah, now you can see it, uh, into this little um, ribbon or thing or paper or whatever you want to call it. I think that is a nice idea because you have not to use magnets or something like that. And uh, I like now my pages. And <clears throat> it was an idea that suddenly came into my mind and yeah now I uh, see my left page and I was thinking yeah why um, can't I do the same now on the left side there is also a flap and perhaps I can make something like a closure construction also on the left page you know that I use a digital print um, the thing on the left side is one set by romantic letters and on the right also, but they were different sets. You can see it because the left side has more uh, turqui turquoise uh, colors and on the right side it is more dark blue. Yeah, and I have now to decide which paper I use and I think both papers have um, a cord or something uh, like a brown thing and uh, I use uh, that now for my uh, top side of the page. But I must decide how long I want to have it. And now I have my pencil and try to mirror it with my my uh, pencil and um, I make a mark yeah and now I score it on my scoring board and I will do the same as on the right um, side uh, I don't know which thing which paper I will use um, for the closure I mean the thing that you put inside uh, these um, little pockets but now I um, decide how long I want to have a paper because I don't want to destroy my uh, flap. If I glue it down as this, I wouldn't be able to open it anymore. <laughs> and so I, have, so I have to cut it again. As you can see, I use my paper trimmer very often also on my book. But it is so handy and I think um, I use it especially for this book very often. Suddenly I have ideas and I want to, um, yeah, to realize it immediately. Now I show you that you can um, hold your paper down with um, this thing and you can look through the, um, it's not a glass, it is plastic. But <clears throat> you can find the right line where you want to cut your paper. The cord on the top is a good idea. It uh, fits perfect to the paper on the left side. It is not the same paper set, but I think it fits together. Yeah, but the paper is uh, too tall and I must cut it again. And uh, now I think I can glue it. <laughs> yeah, now it is the right size. Sometimes it is better to be patient and do things correctly because you don't want to have surprises. <laughs> it is always uh, cutting and gluing and all these things you have to do very often. But it is worthwhile to do it and you have little details and a lot of embellishments. And now the page on the right and on the left side will be um, yeah, unique, but you have nearly the same pattern on both sides. Yeah, 
ja, I almost forgot to put glue on the edge. Uh, that should still be <laughs> closed at the top. Yeah, it has to be glued well. Mm, yeah, and now I will yeah, be carefully and use my brush for it. Now I press it down. And the folding test will follow. The page can be folded. This is important because I want to use my flap. <laughs> yeah, I have to burnish it a bit. And now I will use a paper. This is only paper um, to try it out. That paper doesn't come into my album, definitely. I just want to show what I mean, what I mean by my closure. The test seems to be successful. But now the glue has to dry. I still have to put the brush into my water. I want to use my brush again. Yeah. And here I press again my paper. I like now my papers and I think it is a good idea to have these belly bands. In the meantime, I have prepared something with my jelly plate and created some maritime patterns. Um, to me, this looks like an aerial view of the sea, water and white form crowns. Or you can also see a beautiful sky in it. Yeah, it is always what you think it is. <laughs> yeah, when you turn it around, here's the back side. It is a little bit lighter. And I think these could also be clouds. Yeah, and this is in my eyes the sea. I would like to use the text for the album. I would like to edit it, but maybe I can even use the text at this point. I might use them also perhaps for something else. I don't know. <laughs> I put my book um, in the middle and now I hold the tag um, to these belly bands and perhaps they, they will fit into my belly bands. Yeah, and this one is definitely too uh, big, but I can use it also for something else. And now perhaps I will put it away. I like it, but I don't know not for this page, perhaps for another page. Yeah, I put my, um, I have to put my book aside first and bring it to a safe place. <laughs> and now it is time to do something with my prepared background papers. They look a little bit pale and I want to decide what to do with it. I take the strong motif in front and I think I leave the background pale. Here you can see the background. Maybe you can write something on it. I want to use my brush and I'm looking for my colors. I want to use this dress oxide again and this is antique linen. I want to clean my brush first 
Yeah, still leftovers from my last paint. And I use these leftovers. Why not? Oh. Now I will use my antique linen and I think it is a good contrast to the greenish colors and when we mix also to with the green and will make a lighter green. I think it is a great color combination. For me, it is a fun part. I like to do these things and I look, I like to do it very often. And <clears throat> I also use my paint on the, the backside or um, in the corners and on the sides at the edges. And I uh, use now a little bit water. I like now my colors, but I think it's it is not enough. I want to use now stencils. I like stencils very, very much. And they are so useful. They give a, a really nice touch to your paper. And um, it is something very special. It is so unique to use it. And how you use it, it makes a personal touch. Yeah, you can give 20 or more people the same stencil, but we all will use it in a different way. And that is what I like. It is crafting and it is a very personal thing. I'm looking now onto my stencil and I find now the word travelers. And that would be nice on my paper. There's a writing and the leaves perhaps are not um, so good for my page but I can use the writing and I decided now to use these words and the stencil by 13 Arts. I like stenciling very much and I use especially these stencils by 13 Arts very often and the writing is so nice and beautiful and now I'm looking for the right color I want to use uh, something blue, but I'm not sure what kind of blue really fits well to my greenish and antique linen colors. Yeah, here is now speckled egg and I have also weathered wood. But I think I start with speckled egg. I hope that will be a nice contrast to the rest of the colors. And now I'll do my stencil work a little bit faster. Not in real time, of course. <laughs> but I think it could be a little bit boring um, when you watch me um, yeah, always stenciling. But I like these um, things and now I turn to a different um, color and I use now weathered wood. It is a little bit darker and now I think I can um, finish it and I use the 20 pounds on my uh, stencil and I use it in the left top corner. Yeah, and now I think it is time for a new stencil. And I'm looking for something different, but I want to use something of 13 Arts. I like these writings and the pictures. Ah, yeah. And what I also like is the quality of these uh, stencils because they are really uh, thick and uh, very helpful for your craft work. But now I want to use another medium. I use now modeling paste because I think it is time for um, some different aspects on my paper. And um, yeah, here I used um, something like a stamp. It is um, also on my postcard 
stencil and yeah it has also the writing postcard and I use it. This is by the way the horoscope um, stencil and I use these uh, things a lot. Yeah, and now I thought it could be a good idea to um, yeah color the edge the edges and I uh, want to have my paper a little bit darker, uh, but only um, my edges sh shall be um, darker, not so much of the inside. But uh, on the right side, the thing um, it must be darker because I want to use something very light and um, there should be a contrast between these things. I thought it could be a good idea to use crackling mousse by Nuvo. In um, my normal crafting uh, work it is a very good um, crackling mousse and it has a good quality. But um, I can tell you, I'm speaking now with my experience with this uh, special paper, it didn't work. I don't know why. Um, it was a very nice stencil or it is a very nice stencil and the stars and the writing is so pretty and I thought um, the, um, the it is not gold but it is a between yellow and gold a color and I thought it uh, would be a very good contrast to my blue background blue background but um, it now you can see it is very delicate and it is so nice to see but it didn't last it was crumbling from my paper it was so disappointing for me I spent a time for it and yes I had fun with my little stars and with a stencil and with my um, paste but unfortunately it didn't want to stay yeah what else can I say at this time I was very lucky and I was so happy because the result was so great and I liked it very much but yeah <laughs> finally it wasn't a good idea to use the crackling mousse I think um, the modeling paste would um, be better for this uh, paper yeah you must make your own experience and yeah you must find out what is right for you and now I'm looking uh, through my album and now I find a little problem with this uh, page and the corner and I think it is perhaps a little bit too long mm. and now I use a puncher and uh, make a nice corner with it and I like the puncher by the way very much. And now I have a nice corner and the page is now better. I can turn it better. Yeah, I think it is enough for today and I show you more uh, next time. Thank you very much that you spent your time with me and watching this video. I appreciate this and I hope to see you soon again. I have um, many more parts of this album and I show you how I will do some embellishment and if you like my video uh, that would be great and if you want to if you want to subscribe that would be also very kind. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.